computer. Okay, good, fine. That works. By host or participant. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm recording I, now. I, and I didn't even know that was possible, actually. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I have to come and go. So I'm leaving my camera off for now. But okay. uh, please, uh, do, you, do you want an introduction, Lily? Or do you want to just take a Oh, no, you can give me an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there might be others coming in because we don't know who was trying to get in meanwhile. But anyway, we're really happy to welcome our media consultant and uh, what is what is your title, Lily? Again, your WFWP or my PR manager. WFWP, Europe and Middle East PR manager. Oh, PR manager, PR manager. Okay, PR manager. Please, Miss Lily Gundek Gundaker. Please, uh, we're looking forward to learning from you tonight. Thank you very much, Tina. So I am uh, taking control of the meeting. I'm going to pin myself, but actually I'm going to go straight into the screen share okay. when I get my PowerPoint ready. I know there's a few things that change the whole setting, but I tested this before. So hopefully you can, uh, I will, oops. Right. Okay, now stop that again because I've um, lost control of the meeting. I need my Zoom controls here. Okay, I've got that there. Good. So I'm going to share. Okay, I can't even see it on the small one. Share my screen. And it's going to be screen one. Share and I'll go straight into the presentation. So can you see a full screen of my presentation? Yes. yes. Very good. So my topic given to me by Carolyn today was social media and communication skills to dramatically impact your visibility. So, Sorry, was that too, too strong? <laughs> no, it's perfect. Run. Okay, good. <laughs> perfect. I, I follow instructions more or less sometimes. And I'm really happy to speak on this topic. And the question is, what is communication? What is social media? What are my communication skills? And what is visibility? So we've got communication in real life. And from our principal perspective, we would say it is give and take action. So in our communications with people, with one another, with our family, we can talk to each other. We meet in person or online. We can have a meal together or we go on a trip together. Sleeping with your partner may be the most intimate type of communication relationship that you have. Breastfeeding your newborn baby that comes from such an interaction might mean even more to you if you have that opportunity. But what is communication in social media? In social media, communication is give and take action. Same thing, but digital in cyberspace. In social media, we have different levels of communication. We don't breastfeed our babies in social media. We don't do the other things. But what do we do? We have active and passive levels of communication. When you're learning a language, you listen. When you're growing up, the children observe, they watch and they listen and they learn to communicate even with their gestures, with their hands and their body. And the words, the language that they learn comes from listening. We can improve our communication skills if we want to learn a new language by passively listening, studying, but we learn much, much more when we actively communicate. When we overcome that fear, that hesitation, that resistance of making a mistake of being vulnerable, and when we 
communicate, then we really learn that language of communication, whether it's a foreign language or the social media language. So for many of us, we are actually a bit stuck on that passive area where we are afraid, feeling vulnerable, and we don't want to expose our inadequacies, our weaknesses, our shortcomings. Yet actually that is one of the most important things to do. We need to overcome, we need to leave our comfort zone and just like learning a language, just like learning anything, we need to be brave, be courageous, be strong. Reminds me, I don't know how many of you know Jodie, who won the UK speech contest a few years ago. I met her in Australia the following year and told her about Toastmasters. Meanwhile, She's joined Toastmasters. She became champion in her club. She became champion in her area. She became champion in her district. She became champion on in the top level, I think of Australia. I don't know how far the contest hasn't been completed to the top level yet. She has a motto, be brave, be vulnerable, be kind. And it's so true, when you are courageous and make yourself vulnerable, just as we heard today, True Mother shared from her intimate feelings and can really reach our hearts. And when we make ourselves vulnerable and yet stay kind, then we can really communicate from the heart to the heart. So what are the different levels of communication in social media? In social media, if you are just an observer, some people will think, uh, some people won't see you, you won't be visible. If our motto is to gain dramatic visibility, then we need to go beyond the passive observation. You need to get out of your comfort zone and do something. So the first step in social media is to just click that like button. Click that thumbs up. That is the first step in our social media communication. But when you comment on what the person wrote, that's the next step. You are not only telling that person, okay, even the, the like is one thing. If you send them a heart, they will be even more moved. They will be more moved than with just the thumbs up. And if you comment on the post that somebody has made, you might even get a response. And actually, because you responded and they respond, you enter into a dialogue. What's that? Give and take action. Communication. You've got to start. I'm doing a mentoring course at the moment, and my mentor said you need at least seven levels of contact before somebody will really take notice of you. So whether it's seven likes or seven posts, I'll show you the hierarchy of the of the areas of contact of communication that you can have in social media. When you've commented on something and then share that content with your friends, with other people in your circles, that is the next level. Because then you broaden the scope, the network that you have and the network that your network has. And that's how you can really communicate. 
once you post something yourself, then you are actively communicating. And when people respond to what you post, then you can encourage the dialogue by responding to the response and making it a conversation. About communication in organisations and for us, in Women's Federation as an NGO, we need to be aware what we communicate, where we communicate, how we communicate, and how are we coming across? Do people know who I am? Now, I prepared this presentation and at the last minute, I added the logo up in the left top corner. The logo, when we represent Women's Federation, it's important. It's our branding. We need to be aware who we are, what we represent, what we want to represent. And if I'm representing Women's Federation here in this presentation, I want you to know, as the PR manager of WFWP Europe Middle East, I'm representing Women's Federation and my information is being shared with you, Women's Federation members, as a member of Women's Federation. So be clear in who you are and also who you want to reach out to. I'm talking now specifically to Women's Federation members, leaders. If you really want to get your message across, you need to repeat it again and again and again. You need to make your communication frequent so that people start looking forward to reading something from you. When there is a dialogue, when there is a communication, when you are regularly posting interesting things, and I want to read that, then I'm already looking forward and want to know what are they up to now? What are mm. they going to share with me next? So it's good to have some regularity, some sort of a schedule in your social media communication if you want to promote your organisation, your activities or even yourself in social media. That has all just been said. Provide opportunities for people to interact with you. As I mentioned before, it's this number seven. If you've posted, or if, just think of yourself, you've seen something, oh, that was interesting. Then you see it again, oh, that was really interesting. And you still didn't react? Well, if you never interact, then you are not likely to see that article again. That's how social media works. If you interact, then the algorithms are programmed to know, oh, you like that, then we'll show you more of the same. And if you'd never even re respond or react, then you are likely to lose it and never find it again. I know how often I, myself, even my husband, have been reading something and thought, oh, that's interesting, but I'm looking for something else right now. So you just skim over it, go on to something else, and then you go back into your feed and you can't find it. Why? Because you didn't mark it. Now, Facebook, as one channel of social media changes a lot of its settings very frequently and for people like us who like to figure things out and have them stay the same so that we know how to deal with them, it can be fairly challenging. Now, Facebook thinks that they're making it better and better and better and better and better. And I get upset that they 
disposed of the groups. When I set up a group for Women's Federation, I don't know, maybe nearly 20 years ago, I don't know how long it was exactly. And then they abandoned groups and introduced pages. And then eventually somebody, whether it was me or somebody else, I don't remember now, set up the page for Women's Federation. And now there are groups again. So I just started a group for Women's Federation because they say you get the better interaction. There's a lot of stuff there. You can learn all of that by going to Facebook and clicking on, on various things. There's a lot of information already there, but you need to spend some time if that's what you're really interested in doing to find out about it. And there are also lots of YouTube videos on all of this information. So if you want to communicate, you need to be active. Branding is important. Use your logo. Be consistent with your graphics. Did you have an event and you use a picture of a castle and then you open your meeting and you have a picture of a farmhouse, the people might get confused. Don't change your branding, your graphic within an event. If you want to attract people and bring people to your event, whether it's a Facebook event, whether it's a Zoom meeting, whether it's a live in-person meeting, select your graphics, your theme, and stick to it so that the people can recognize it and know that they are coming to your event and they've already combined something in their mind. They've already connected emotionally with that picture, with that graphic image. Frequency, post regularly, repetition, provide opportunities for people to interact with you. Now, let me tell you, my report that I gave to the Austrian WFWP in January about statistics in 21, on YouTube, we had 989 interactions. On Facebook, 2,500. There's also the Women's Federation webpage, which I was instructed to dismantle and download the content, only to discover it's impossible. You can't download the content. So I think we should still have a web page that we can refer to and there's a lot of potential there of what can be done. I've made a few cosmetic changes but there's a lot more that can be done and with the mentoring course that I'm doing I expect to manage to do a lot more gradually in the future. On Facebook there is a place where they ask you to put your phone number if you want to on the about page for Women's Federation, they give you some information. They tell us the current figures are 3,000 people like this, 3,300 people follow WFWP Europe. There is a place where you can add a location, business hours, details for business products, the home page is given here. So that's the home page I showed you before, the one that we're not working with anymore. And here is a place where it's possible to have a phone number. I'm just pointing that out, but this is what Facebook offers as a, as a package for businesses, for organizations that you can use to communicate as a corporate entity, as an NGO with the social community with the social media group that you are reaching out to. So back here. So here, Facebook had 2,500 in 21. And now our current figures have gone up. More than double on YouTube, a thousand more on Facebook. So we're talking about social media. What is social media? Can you please write in the chat what channels you are using on social media? 
Now, Women's Federation, we have Facebook. We have a YouTube channel. Our groups, we have lots of WhatsApp groups in the Women's Federation, and we communicate through WhatsApp. I believe WWPE International has an Instagram account and a Twitter account. And the international web page is also the place where we have been focusing on sharing and communicating our reports. Now, I've got one notice in the chat. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. And only one person gave me a response to my question. How encouraging is that? What kind of communication is that? Who can tell me how are we going to learn to communicate if we don't even respond or listen or hear what we're hearing? Okay, getting better, getting better. So this is warming up. So maybe I need to go through the same thing seven times again and then you'll get out of your passive, listening, careful, conservative mode and start <laughs> to communicate and act and respond and become a little bit dynamic in your actions. So Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Okay, so nobody's on TikTok or um, what is, I don't even know the names. Of I was hoping to get something new from you guys, you know. So obviously we've only got the oldies here. So um, we need to get the second gens. We need to get the younger generation on board because some of the newer social media platforms are even more effective in communicating and getting the message across. So I would encourage you to find the way to communicate personally with, with younger people because maybe Facebook is not the media for younger people. Maybe they're not interested even in YouTube. There's also Vimeo and there's, yeah, Telegram is also another um, communication platform that I would say equivalent almost to WhatsApp and Signal. When a lot of my friends started leaving WhatsApp because of the implications that they believed with um, Google and Microsoft and all of the conspiracy theories that are going on, then some people started on Telegram. Some people, we as a family, went to Signal. And then I had people that were only in one or two, one of the other channels. And when they wanted to communicate, I'm a communicator. I want to hear. I want to know. I want to be there. I'm everywhere. I'm on all of them. I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> but I'm on WhatsApp, on Telegram, on Signal, and you can reach me there because I want to communicate with you. On Facebook, we have these statistics, which I shared on the previous page. And in order to run a Facebook group or page, you need people who have the right to communicate, to add the posts, to share the information that you want to share. So during the last year, I have added Victor and Tony Cook as admins to the Facebook group because they were running the Zoom meetings for us on the European level. And the setting in Facebook is to go live, to do a live stream through the Facebook group you have to be the Zoom master. It has to be your Zoom account and you have to be the admin on your Facebook group. So I made Victor and Tony admins on our Facebook group so that they could share 
our live stream on our Facebook group because I was not enabled, I was not entitled, I was not allowed because I was not the owner of the Zoom account that was running the meeting. I was not able to do the live stream. Now the other admins on the Facebook group, myself, Lily, Doris McCann, Evelyn Yeomans and Natasha Phillips. Now, I just want to bring this to your attention because I don't even know who Evelyn is. And I know that Natasha is in America. I don't know, I don't see much of Doris and I don't have a personal connection to her apart from when we just had a short exchange about sharing the admin and cooperating with one another. And the the admin can do everything on the account, can appoint new people and can do anything else, even the live streaming. An editor can post articles, but not the other things. So the editors on our account are Tanya Chandler, Nicole LaHogue and Sunny. Now, I don't know Sunny. I know Nicole is very, very busy. And I don't really know Tanya and I don't know if she's still around. So again, I'm sharing this information with you. Because if you want to use Facebook as your channel of communicating for Women's Federation, you need to be aware how to do that. It's not just a, a nebulous page. There are people that are enabled, that are permitted, that have access to the account that can post this information. So if you want to share something there, you need to know who they are or get the access yourself. YouTube now, we've had 147 views in the last 28 days, that's not bad. In April, there were three new videos. I created two new playlists because we uploaded two videos for the Middle East. So I've made a, a Middle East playlist and a German language playlist. So all the videos, that have been posted on the YouTube channel that are from German videos have been entered into the German playlist. But looky, looky, how much interaction did I have in April? How many comments, how many likes, how many posts, how many shares? Zero. Zero. 47, 21, nine views on those three videos. Three, one, zero, like. So why? Why? <laughs> Who are you asking, Carolyn? <laughs> yeah, well, for first you, since you're, you're, you're talking. But yeah, I mean, what do you think since you're on that point? Huh? Yeah, I've got, I've got a few issues there that I've brought up and I thought that the whole thing won't take more than half an hour and we can talk as long as you like after that. So. Okay. That's a good question. Please keep that in mind. Don't forget it. Okay. On YouTube in March, there were also three new videos, the Middle East and the German, two new playlists, zero comments, 48, 12, 15 views, two, one, one likes. So in order to get the likes, the views, the comments, these things need to be shared. The links need to be shared. So this page here is about the Women's Federation, and it, you can find all sorts of things. When you go to the Facebook page and you click around on the different things, you can figure out the different things, how they are working and trying to help us to be very responsive. This shows your dedication to good communication. Follow these tips to earn a badge, and the badge is very responsive. So um, if you go through there and have a look, you might learn something even more beyond this, what I'm telling you now. Now, that's basically all. I'm offering um, private session for anybody who really wants to go deeper into the content because all of this other stuff, I mean, it's all, it's all there, but maybe you feel a bit overwhelmed. Maybe all of this stuff is too much. But can you, can can you, you stop there for a minute? I just wanted to take a picture of this page, okay? Yep. So okay. the information is, uh, 
you've got to start somewhere and you've got to have some give and take. And when you have the give and take, when you overcome your comfort zone, when you jump out of your comfort zone and make a decision. So one thing I want to tell you is if you don't like TikTok or WhatsApp or Facebook or YouTube, decide what you do want. Forget about the things you don't like. If you really can't stand working, having anything to do with TV, whatever, decide what you do want. Focus on what you want, what you love, what you like, what you want to do. Make your decision and then interact with it. Take the step. Post the like, make the comment, share the content. When we have a meeting, a situation last week or the week before, we did a, an organizational meeting in preparation for our UN side event. And I thought we did an excellent interview with our speaker. And the, the whole meeting went over half an hour. I don't know exactly how long it went. But there was a lot of fantastic information there which could have been used as a as a primer, as a clip, as a as a teaser to encourage people to come and join our side event. And so I asked the people who were in that meeting immediately afterwards, because I had the recording, can we share the content of this meeting? I suggest making a clip out of it. So I wasn't saying we have to post the whole thing and put it on Facebook and on WhatsApp and on YouTube and everywhere and share it with everyone. I was just asking for permission to share. And the person that we were filming is actually a filmmaker. So if we had gone and connected with him, I'm sure he knows how to promote his material. He has all this stuff already on Facebook. And the response I got, oh, no, it was a private meeting. It was an internal meeting and no, it shouldn't be shared. So I know it's a matter of, of consciousness and awareness. I see the things that we can do and we need to look at how we can do it according to the limits of what we want to do. And we need to decide, each one of us, what do I want to do? Where am I prepared to invest myself? And, you know, I wrote a um, monthly report for January and for February. It was in January or December that I was asked to take the official title of PR manager. So I, and Carolyn asked me to ask for um, the videos from, from all the members that we can post them onto the YouTube channel, that we can use YouTube instead of a web page. Well, three videos a month is not much. And if nobody's posting anything about them and sharing them, and there is zero communication about it, that is not effective social marketing. So we need to be aware of what we're doing and how we can promote it and how we can share it. That's something I really want to put here on this platform. And I think this is all I've got. Yep. That's yeah. It. Okay. Well. So, can you make a photocopy of that? Wait a minute. I'm I'll send it back to them. So, hi. So, thank you. Thank you, Lily. That was really great. That was really, really great. You have really, uh, I think, through your mission, you have really risen to your. To, <laughs> You're really becoming like expert in being able to convey it to others too. I'm so, I'm so happy really for that. Um, can we post this 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 recording? Maybe you can even post this recording on. Can you post this recording on our YouTube channel? I don't know. Oh yes, if you like, if yeah. you like, so. I, I I mean I I maybe I I would have a first question, and that is, um, you know, we we have many many many. Uh, have had many, many events like our consultation day or food on all tables, all these events from the CSW that 
Women's Federation was co-sponsoring or even kind of actually doing most of the work for. Um, uh, can these kind of things be put on too? For sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it's, I mean, we are not the sole owners, but I, you know, it, anyway, I think we definitely have the um, the rights to those things, huh? So this, these gray areas, a lot of it is you do it until you're told you can't. It's okay. like the music. I mean, we have a copyright. We're using for one of our events. We're using music, public music, and on the list it says there's a copyright claim, but we're not making money out of our videos, so there's no yeah. copyright issues. So yeah. if if somebody does not approve of having their picture or their name used in the material, then we would have to take it down if they complained. And it's better always at your meetings to use the GDPR, the um, public um, relations um, issues to make sure that you're covered in that. And I think it's a good idea in all of our meetings to make it clear that we are a public organization and therefore our meetings are public. Yeah. And then you can use the material. Okay. And maybe even just in answer to my own question, at least to start in answer to my question, why there aren't more likes and things. I mean, I, I even I, I thought myself when I see, even when I see things, when I look at YouTube videos that I like, I often do not say that I like them. So it doesn't really mean actually nobody likes it. It just means people, for some reason, they didn't uh, they didn't publicly like it, you know. But um, yeah. And uh, anyway, maybe you could say more about that. And the other thing is that my, myself, I just was thinking recently. I wanted to get into Twitter. I even talked to Shruti about this because I feel like I can't do everything, but I wanted to choose something that was maybe right for me to do huh? without too much investment and too burdensome, but quick. And so maybe I might get in touch with you for a private seance then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you charge, but maybe I will. <laughs> okay, yeah. Are there yeah. any other Are, questions? Okay, I'll let you just do it then. Uh, I have. Marcia? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Um, well, when we started, well, thank you very much. Actually, I agree with Caroline. You have evolved so much in knowledge about this and in your own way of presenting it to us. So I even feel I learned much more now from you this time. Yeah, um, anyhow, uh, when you started talking about YouTube, I remember very well that... Uh, when we decided that we would have a YouTube channel for WFWP Europe, that we could send our videos and our events to you for you to post. And I have to say, I'm sorry, I completely, completely forgot about it. And once in a while it passed through my mind and then as I have to do it in the office and I go back and forth. And so I completely forgot. But, uh, <laughs> In any case, my question is, can you, can you rescue videos in my YouTube channel? Or because I think I gave you, I mean, rescue, I mean, they are all there. All my videos, they are published. And um, the only thing is, could you take them, all of them from there? Or do I need to send them to you one by one? You send me the list or give me the channel, the address. And then I make that a playlist on the Women's Federation. When you look at the Women's Federation YouTube channel and you go to the playlist, mm -hmm. you will see that there are a number of playlists and not all the videos have been uploaded to the WFWP YouTube channel. Some of them are already posted somewhere else and we are sharing them. For example, the event in Geneva, that was we were very much involved in that but it was posted by by the other platform so all i needed to do was to like it put it on my list and then put it make a playlist with that video in it and then mm -hmm. it appears on the playlist okay. and you can then once you've made a playlist you can share that playlist in your communication and promote it like that Okay, I'll do that. I'll try to do that. And at the same time, I'll send you my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. okay yes that's that's one thing there so yeah. for example if you have spanish videos if they're not yeah. even in english then i can make a spanish playlist yeah, yeah. and then all the spanish speaking videos will be in the spanish playlist yeah they are all in spanish except one event i mean three events that portugal italy and spain uh, organized together uh, these events are in english but all the rest they are in spanish mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Thank you, Lily. Wonderful. That's great. Thank you for the question. It's true. I never, I never comment. The most I can do is a thumb up, or in Twitter I may retweet something. But it's not so often. It's not so often, really. Yeah. So we can, when we're aware of that, then we can encourage each other and uh, do much more. That's how we get the attention. That's how we get dramatic visibility. Yes. Okay, uh, Carolyn. Yeah, I just have to say I have to run, but I let you cl close then, Lily. Whenever you can, just it'll turn off then when you okay. when you close down, huh? Okay, thank you thanks, so Carolyn. so much. I will get back in touch with you about okay. your offer. Okay. 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 Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank Marta. You. Bye. Marta. Hello, everyone. Thank you for giving the floor. Uh, it was really wonderful to hear you, Lily, and. Uh, yeah, we could learn a lot. Uh, I have two situations and maybe one question. The situation are the how long each one of us had to, to be online to do all these things, because as you know, we have full of uh, things what to do. And for do the things in the right straight way, you you uh, you uh, try to to teach us. We we have to spend some time, you know, for do the things well. Uh, myself, I have so much trouble with time, uh, even though I try to do my best sometimes to support so many things. Uh, so when I was hearing you, I thought, oh my God, I would like to have this domination with this uh, social media communication. But I don't have uh, just enough time to dedicate myself to the social media com communication. This is, is one of my troubles. The other trouble is some language of social media. It's not so clear for me. So uh, it's too much information and I, I don't, uh, I don't, um, so my mind that doesn't support much more information than I have with many things. Uh, even though I know that it's it's wonderful. If if I would have dominion of this, I would really run with many things. And the third, the, the question is, I have sent uh, because I don't have just a, a YouTube channel. But I have some uh, some of my interviews or something like this on uh, uh, YouTube, and I sent it to you a few months ago. But I didn't have feedback, and my question is: Did you receive it or not? I don't think so. I will have to check because, as far as I know, I thought I had posted all the ones that I had received, but I will check. Well, actually, right now, I can't even access my email account. So um, maybe I'll need to send out my Gmail account and you can send it to me at Gmail and I'll have a look and do what I can. There's some, yeah. There are always technical issues. So the first point that you addressed, we have to decide what do we really want to do? And that decision will mean yes here, yes. no there. And for the time, then it's important then to just set a fixed time and to say this much and then do what you can in that time and then come back tomorrow or the next day and don't don't let yourself get distracted and go into all sorts of other things which are not not part of your focus you need to decide okay is it going to be yeah. twitter like carolyn said or is it facebook and then are you going to start reading all of the other facebook posts or are you going to have a clear goal and just do that you need to do that and then have your people have a stopwatch and have the alarm go off after 30 minutes of, of facebook time and then go and do something else 
And you, you need to make that decision first. What do you want to do? And then set the time yourself. Get the dominion of yourself and, and know you can. You can do it. And you can't do it all at once. But if you need some help, you may get quicker if you really get that professional help that you need. So I'm dedicating a certain amount of time now where um, I will be available, uh, not endlessly, but I will make some time available for those who want the extra tutoring to figure out how to go further. And in terms of Twitter, for me, the challenge will be learning by doing. It means that I will get better at at it too, because yeah. I can figure it out and I can do it. I don't use Twitter. I have a Twitter account it's already a long time, but I don't use it that much. Um, I, yeah, I just want to say thank you to uh, Lily as well. And I have the same remark than Marcia. I have also a channel YouTube um, in French with also quite a few videos. So it's the same, I can send you this link. Same things. Yeah, yeah. Then we can make a French channel on the European. So you have your French channel. Yeah. And the yeah, Europe yeah. Facebook uh, YouTube channel uh, has all of the different languages then sharing so, your videos. Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry, I didn't realize that before. I just kept in, uh, you know, French mm -hmm. Facebook and mm -hmm. channel French. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why this was my question because you say why we are the same. Um, of course, I'm looking at the English uh, European Facebook, but most of the time I'm more looking at the French speaking Facebook. So um, maybe this is why there is a lack of kind of interaction. I don't know if other countries are doing the same, but mm -hmm. of course we are, our interest is to reach out to our country or French speaking, for example, in my, in my, so I'm concentrating on that face that, you know, that Facebook. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How do you, how do you? Yeah, the question will be then when we go further, when we get the interaction and it's not like now that I would say, oh, no, 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 because it's already too much. But the Facebook um, group is basically focusing on English language communication. Yeah. And sometimes the other, some of the other things come through the thing is you can when you've got it on your channel and it, and you think it's relevant for europe you can always share it to europe or if you can't do course, it yourself yeah. you can let me mm. know and i can share it there yeah, but yeah when it is a foreign language that the rest of the world doesn't understand it may of be course, no sense. it may turn people off and then they won't want to even come to facebook any to that group anymore so yeah, yeah. we are focusing on english yeah yeah, yeah, of course. yeah, no sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were there any other questions? The... Oh, yeah, so that was answered. Zoe, did you have something? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I have a Facebook, which I don't use, but on my email, I receive all sorts of um, notifications. And uh, this person put a comment, this person did this and that. Um, and uh, I go, I see. Sometimes I, I like or nothing. Uh, and, and from this point of view, it's interesting. But then I'm not, like you said, I'm not actively, uh, I'm not active because um, I'm not even using it to, 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 to promote when we have a, a, an event. I prefer the um, chats we have all the emails, I have lots of um, email addresses and I send them. Uh, I hope they receive them, but uh, yeah, I know if you send too many emails at, at once, it doesn't work so well, but that's all I, I do. I've, I, I wouldn't know how to, do, to post something on a Facebook. You know, you have a, po an, 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 a, um, a poster, 
uh, how do you put it on our app, my dear? Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay. Um, if you like, we can do a do a Zoom session, and I can show you how we can go through that. But maybe everybody else knows. So. Okay, then I um, I've actually started a Facebook group called Learning by Doing, where these are the sorts of things I've been adding there: how to uh, remove your duplicates, how to add a post, how to make a group. Some of these things you can um, uh, I can post an invitation to my group in the Facebook in the WhatsApp. And if you're interested, you can join my um, learning by doing group. That's where there's a few videos that I've already made w where you can see a few things. And if you have specific questions, then I can make another one for that issue and uh, and share it there. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And anybody else? Anything else? Maybe we need one practical le uh, lesson or an uh, on Facebook. On Facebook or, or what? Yes. Mm -hmm. Facebook and YouTube, especially YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. I'll, um, uh, I've covered a lot of those points already in my group. I can send out the invitations to that. And if you have specific issues, you can let me know. Contact me and let me know, and I'll uh, I can make a I can make a an educational video, and then we can arrange a meeting where if it's if there's a need and a desire, then I can do um, okay. do something like that. I think the the time this time this amount of time is probably enough. That people can handle and um, when other questions come out of that then we can take that into another session yeah thank you thank you Lily. Marcia, You're can, I, can i um leave the um final words to you to close the meeting oh well uh thank you <laughs> well just to thank you especially for for providing this information to us, because I think it's necessary. Little by little, we we learn about it. And uh, thank you, sisters, for being there. And uh, we'll see each other very soon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On that note, I'm sorry I can't come tomorrow because I've got my mentoring session tomorrow at nine. So. Yes. Wish you a good meeting tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. Then Merci. Thank you, everybody. Thank you coming. very much. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.